This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. Ethiopia has gone from a non-issue on the chart of foreign direct investment to a place to look at closely. Although not a place where energy is the target of investment, it seems that everything from retail to agriculture may be. Ethiopia has swung from a dangerous place to even attempt investing to a land of vast potential. This swing can be seen in the expansion of South Africa's largest consumer foods firm, Tiger Brands, which has made major investments in Ethiopian breweries. Another major infusion of foreign cash has come from Schultz Global Investments, which announced recently that the very first private equity fund dedicated to Ethiopia has been developed by their firm. That fund has $100 million to invest. No small token amount and it is for this reason that Ethiopia is now becoming a place to look closely at. However, there are substantial political risks due to record poverty, uncontrolled government spending, and the spending, if you look at it, does nothing to alleviate poverty, and you add on to this a great dose of heavy borrowing just to stay afloat, and you have developed a very, very large political risk. There are issues that stem from these issues that will lead directly to corruption and civil unrest. As to the issue of corruption, as usual, it will be at the market entry level and thus will raise the cost of doing business. Paying a bribe is not the obvious result of this corruption. The cost of honestly paying for goods and services have a built-in component in Ethiopia. In other words, someone else is using what you honestly paid them to make your chosen investment come to fruition. The Foreign Corrupt Practices Act prohibits American direct investors and businesses from engaging in corruption such as bribes. But if there is an unspoken deal between bureaucrats and those who you hire on the ground, there is a good chance that you will never know that what you paid has, in fact, had what I call a built-in cost of bribery adjustment. Another political risk that cannot be avoided is the high inflation rate of over 30%. The currency has seen multiple devaluations, and this coupled with little or no access to credit creates a ready-made situation for black markets and off-the-radar deals that further increase the political risk of hampered access. In other words, playing by the rules may eventually get you into the market, but you're not the first on the list if you're not playing the same game that the others are in Ethiopia. Overall, honest business deals and foreign direct investment in Ethiopia is fraught with substantial political risk. However, major investment and business firms have made it clear that the risk is manageable. The risk taken by others means to me that Ethiopia is a place to consider as long as you can afford to calculate the long-term political risks that will remain there for decades. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson.